Hey there! Are you poor too? Welcome to Poor Equestrian YouTube. I'm Ryan. I too am very poor. It's nice to meet you. Today I wanted to share my secrets to finding affordable equestrian apparel. Also my favorite affordable equestrian apparel. So, I'm going to talk about my favorite stores and places to find cheap stuff and then I'm going to talk about my personal favorites. I consider myself to be a pro online shopper. I'm very good at it. I find very cheap stuff but it ends up actually costing me because I buy it and then I spend money that I wouldn't have spent otherwise if I hadn't been looking for the thing. That's my own crisis. But I'm good at shopping online and finding cheap stuff and good deals so I wanted to share my information with you. First, I want to talk about equestrian specific places that you can shop that are cheaper. There's always the clearance section. Dover and Smart Pack have really good clearance and sometimes you can find really cheap stuff on there that is just going out of season or hasn't sold for some reason or whatever. The reason is that it's on there. You can find it. It's cheaper and it's like the on-trend, higher-end equestrian brands that we all love. But our wallets don't. Also, there's the websites that are less well known or like less accepted, I guess, because the sport is elitist. And these websites are cheaper. These are Horse Lovers with a Z, spelled like this. Their shipping takes forever, but their prices are very good. And then it's like a fun little surprise when it gets to your house because it's like, oh, I forgot I ordered that because it was so long ago. You also have Riding Warehouse, which is my own personal favorite. They are very cheap, especially their clearance section, and they have such cute stuff. I've gotten some good sun shirts off there, and breeches, and all the fun stuff. And also, Tack of the Day. Now, Tack of the Day is a little bit strange. They only have stuff on their website for a short period of time, and their sales only last a short period of time. So this is one that you kind of have to check often, because they have new stuff all the time, and it's one that you don't want to check unless you're ready to buy it, that day because it will not be there tomorrow. Now, non-horse specific brands and stores. Some people don't like to ride in non-horse specific clothes. I personally can't ride in anything other than breeches, but I'm good with like tops or belts and stuff like that that's not horse specific. I love Nordstrom Rack. I think Nordstrom Rack is amazing. I love it. They're less expensive than Nordstrom, but they have nice stuff. The same kind of vibe, I love TJ Maxx and Marshalls. The annoying thing about them is that you can't really shop online, you kind of have to go into the store, whereas Nordstrom Rack you can shop online and go into the store. Amazon, also a good place to shop. My boyfriend works there. I do not get a discount, unfortunately, but I still shop there. Also, Target. I love Target for everything, I go there all the time, it's an unhealthy obsession, and yeah. But, they have some cute clothes. They have some cute active wear, they have some cute regular clothes, they have a lot of cute outerwear. My favorite. Also, if you have a red card, you get free shipping on their website. The Lululemon We Made Too Much because they're too classy for clearance, so they call it We Made Too Much. I love Lululemon tops for riding. It's one of those things, though, that I don't know if I really love them or if it's something that I've been conditioned to love because it makes you seem rich and like you belong in the sport. I'm not going to get into that right now, it sends me into a whole identity crisis and then I'm like, do I even like anything or am I just conditioned to like it and then it's not good. Whether I'm conditioned to like it or not, I do like riding in Lululemon tops and their sports bras. Love their sports bras, but I think they're insanely overpriced. We Made Too Much makes the prices lower. They're still not great, they're still a little expensive, but they're lower. Now that we've talked about stores, let's go into my favorite stuff. For breeches, like I said, I can't ride in any pants other than breeches. I just can't do it. First of all, carrots breeches, not their tights. I think their tights are overpriced and unflattering, and I do not like them. But their breeches are beautiful. If you like carrots tights, I'm not trying to offend you. Good for you. I, I'm sure you look great in them. I don't like them on me, and I think they're slightly overpriced for what they are. But their breeches fabulous. I have their side pass breeches that I wear at least once or twice a week and I really love those. I have a pair of their three season fleece line ones. Those are also great 
and you can find them on clearance fairly easily and they're not very expensive. I think the side pass ones I got for like $60. Also, Aztec Diamond Equestrian riding tights. I'm wearing them right now. Here they are. I have done a review on these. I kind of got a little mean. When Aztec Diamond saw that review and saw that the tights that I had, the knee patches were peeling off, they actually sent me a new pair and these ones did not peel so I'm pretty sure I just got like a faulty pair. So, I take back being mean. I got a faulty pair. Now, the fact that there are faulty pairs is another discussion to be had because that's kind of could be bad quality control, but the ones that I have now that aren't faulty are very comfy, they've lasted a pretty long time, I also wear these at least once a week, and I want to say that they're around $40, $45, which is not bad. I don't love riding in riding tights personally, but they're really good for me for like days at the barn that I don't ride and I just go to like do work and stuff, or if you like riding in riding tights, these are a really good option. Treadstep Nero 2 Breaches. Any other Treadstep product, I do not like. Don't care what you say to me. I don't like them, but the Nero 2s are so comfy and so stretchy and they retail for $100 and I've had, I have one pair of white ones for shows, I have a pair of grey ones that I wear all the time and then I have a pair of navy ones that unfortunately I ripped trying to jump out of a chicken coop. We don't need to talk about that. They're so comfy and they're so inexpensive for a pair of good quality breeches and very flattering and I adore them. Now on to my favorite shirts. I have some that are specifically riding brands and some that are not. Z by Zella Meridian t-shirts. Now, I don't like the tank tops, I don't like the long sleeves, I like the t-shirts. I get them at Nordstrom Rack, they're like $17 I think. I have seven of them. They're so flattering. They have a similar kind of like model to the Lululemon Swiftly Tech ones, but they're a little thicker, which I like because it makes them more flattering because they show less of your rolls. They have a cute little mesh back detail, and I've gotten lots of compliments on them. All-time favorite riding shirt, for sure. Castell Denmark Sun Shirts. These are expensive when you don't find them on clearance, but they're pretty easy to find on clearance, actually. I find a lot on Riding Warehouse, or if you just search up clearance on Google, you can find some on clearance. They're very comfy. They're super soft. I like them. They're also classic. They're classic. Everybody likes them. Everybody knows them. And my favorite jacket is in fact a Target puffer that I got on clearance for $20. I think they retail for like $25. I like it. It's my favorite. You know I love Target, so obviously it's my favorite. Finding a puffer jacket for less than like $50 is an accomplishment on its own, and it's so comfy, and I've worn it to the barn like all winter, and it hasn't gotten destroyed yet. I also like that it's not super long, because I feel like with some breeches, the long jackets look kind of ugly, and just make my body look weird. And also, if it's not long, you can see my belt. And my belts are cute. And moving on to belts, I love belts from Amazon. They're very cheap. If you just look up like women's belts or black women's belts or whatever, whatever you want. I have so many belts from there. I have this weird edgy looking one that has been my favorite recently. I have some stretchy ones that I love. They're like the USG or Hunt Club type style but way cheaper. I don't know what else. I can't tell you off the top of my head what other ones I have right now but I do have a lot from Amazon. I think I've gotten them all for like under $10 and they last a pretty long time and they look very cute and I like to have a variety of belts to wear with my breeches so I appreciate cheap belts. Alright, so those are my favorite places to shop for affordable equestrian apparel and some of my favorite items. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys later. Bye!